All right. You good? You want to try? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, good. So the first rule, what's the first rule that we have here? It's idhar. So we have a, we have a tanween, okay? So nun saken or tanween, so that's, we've identified the first thing, followed by a, this is a hamza, okay? This is a hamza. So where does hamza come? Which rule in the chart? I mean, which, or uh, which, it comes from the throat, which means that it'll be what? Idhar. So how would you pronounce it? Clarity. Adabun alimun. Right? Just complete, yeah, complete clarity. Adabun alimun. So uh, keep going. And I messed this up in that I put the rule I was trying to put on the in between two lines. So it might be. <laughs> uh -oh. So, okay, so what's the next thing that we're looking at? And, uh, yeah. So this is going to be which rule? The one we're doing now. Iqlab. Yeah, so I'll put a little meme here. Okay. Adabun alimun. Yeah. Mm hmm Bima? Yeah. Yakdibun. Okay. Walahum adabun alimun bima kanu yakdibun. Bima kanu yakdibun. Yeah. Yeah, so we haven't done the rules of meme yet, but this is idhar. Walahum adab. You don't say walahum adabun. You don't do that. Walahum adabun alimun. Bima kanu yakdibun. Good. Questions on Iqlab? Questions on Iqlab? It's clear. It's Lahir. Huh? It's converting? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So that actually, that, that actually uh, is a good segue, that last ayah, I shouldn't have erased it, uh, to the first uh the first quality or slifa that we were going to take today okay so i told you the class kind of jumps all over the place and where you get to practice at all is when we recite um and which we'll do we're actually going to stop soon um so that we can we can get practice so so and you don't have nobody has the the sheet of notes but so the first the first qua the first that's fine i mean uh we'll i'll bring him next time um, the first slifa, the first, um, so th there's two types of qualities or characteristics of letters. There are those that are like opposites, meaning all the letters either fall into category A or category B. Okay. There's those types of rules, uh, those types of qualities. And then there's just qualities that apply to certain letters. Okay. Which is not a good distinction because obviously if it only applies to certain letters, then that would exclude all the other ones. But, um, uh, that's not the way they break them down. So there's there's certain ones that apply that they say are one or the other. And so the first one that we'll take, we'll do two of them today. The first one is humps. Okay? Humps. Humps means what? Remember? Whisper. It means whisper. Okay? And these letters, when you pronounce them, some air passes through. Okay? So you're like, what is this guy talking about? Okay? So the... Do you remember the, uh, the, yeah. It's a little harder one. It's not actually, 
Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So it'll get yeah, it has one of them. So so the 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 mnemonic for it is Fahathahu Shahsun Sakat. Fahathahu Shahsun Sakat. So it's the letters. It's all on the, the the notes. So when I bring them next time then you guys can look at them. So it's Fa Ha Thahu Shah. Sakat. Okay. So these letters, this is important. Th this is important. Um, and if the reason it's important is these letters, when you uh, put a sukun on them or you pronounce them generally, some air comes out. So what's the uh, ayah we just recited? What did we just say? Like I just had on the thing. Anyone remember? وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ Okay, so the word is يَكْذِبُونَ يَكْذِبُونَ So what are we looking at? We're looking at this ka. Okay, we're looking at this ka. So one way to say it, okay, if hums didn't apply, would be يَكْذِبُونَ يَكْذِبُونَ the boon, meaning no air comes out. You say yak, the boon, but that wouldn't be pr correctly pronounced. The correct pronunciation of the ka is yak, the boon. So you you have to pronounce it and hold it so that some air comes out. So you'd say yak, the boon, yak, the boon. So the one that's m the, where you hear this most is uh, ka and ta. So um we say yeah if you were to say tabat that wouldn't be correct cuz no air comes out tabat yada okay what's the correct way yeah tabat but you don't want to say it to where it becomes a scene you don't want to say tabat okay that's too much but tabat yada, tabat yada. Yeah, tabat yada. Okay, good. So, so there's other the the second one I wanted to teach these together. So the other uh, ca category or quality of letters that we were going to take today was qalqala. Okay which is the bouncing one. A lot most people know this one. And those are what letters? Qutbu Jad. Okay? So those are going to be I'll write them in red. Qaf, ta, ba, jim and dal. Okay? Which spells what? Huh? Oh, that's a kha. Good luck. Qutbu <laughs> Jad. Okay, so these are this is vibrating or bouncing. This is air coming out. Okay, there's a big difference. So here we're allowing some air to finish the pronunciation of the letter. Here we don't actually allow, allow any air. Okay, so you say b, you say ab, right? Ab. There's no air that comes out. Ab. It it the sound vibrates. We say ul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad. Right? It's the letter Dal, and it is kind of again tied to the Makhadij too. Everything's kind of tied together. Um, but it's not about air coming out, it's about bouncing the, the Makhraj, the sound where the letter originates. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq. Right? We don't say falaq and then nothing. Falaq. Right? Here, we're finishing the pronunciation of the letter and air comes out like in the process. So, tabat yada, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm saying the letter. I'm not saying tabata. That would be qalqala if I were to say tabata yada, 
right? But that's it's a different um, it's different. Mm -hmm. So in in qalqala it does. So if I were to have like the examples I've just given you are the qalqala at the end of the word, and if it comes in the middle, you do it with less emphasis. Okay. Here, here. So there. Okay. So look at like uh, Surah Fatiha. We say, "Iyaka um, na'budu wa iyaka nas ta'in." Okay. Nas ta'in. Okay. So here, this is an example in the middle of the letter, right? So a lot of people will just say nas ta'in. Okay. But part of hums is to allow some air, which means you have to pronounce the letter to completely and like in its entirety. Nasta'in, nasta'in. So, iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in. That sounds different from how you're probably used to saying it, right? Because usually, nasta'in, nasta'in, whatever, right? It's not, there's no humps. There's no air being flown out. Nesta'in. Yeah. So all of these come. If we were to say, uh, and this ha. Ha, I said, is, is not pronounced, right? If you were going to say, uh, or this one. Iza ja'a nasrullahi wal fatih. Fatih, right? You want to stop on it? You have to let the air come out. Fatih. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. So, okay, so uh you want to talk about the ka. So ka, yeah, it's like it most of these you're able to identify the rule when there's a sukun on it. You know, it just like the rule applies even to the singular letter, but it's hard to understand what does it mean unless it has a a sukun on it. Okay, so like the quality still applies to ka. You say kadalika, but you know versus I don't know kadalika. Like it's just about fully pronouncing it. But when you know uh, when we say ashtata, you know you could just say ashtata, or you say ashtata. Some air comes out, right? We say. Um, and and these are actually in another sifa as well, the ones I'm giving you examples of. But um you know, and in Tajweed class you have to pronounce it. Because normally people will just say afwaja. Afwaja. Right? Afwaja, it's not wrong. But it's not, it's not correct, if that makes any sense, <laughs> um, right? Afwaja. Okay. So I think I've put a lot of stuff on the board. Oh, so one more. Let's make a comparison between qalqala and uh, hums. Okay. So so I said these are the letters of hums. So what's the opposite of hums? You don't whisper something, you say it. Uh, it's jahr. It's yeah. So you don't whisper it, you say it loudly, right? Um, okay. Yeah, it's on the notes again. Um, <laughs> so I mean, the notes the notes cover basically the um, and huruf al jahr are everything else. Yeah. Um, the reason I keep saying to, to look to the notes is because it's like a shell for the class. And so all of the rules, all of the letters there, there's no examples, but it's like you can learn the examples here and then you can go back and review the, uh, the, the notes. So I just, I left them at home and people that I gave them to didn't bring them. Uh, <laughs> but you don't need them. <laughs> uh -oh. So uh, everything else. else. Um, okay, so yak the boon. Okay. Now look at I'm sorry. 